What's up guys, my name is Luke Jackson Clark and I'm a travel adventure photographer and filmmaker and over the next 24 hours I'm going to be taking the Sony ZV-E1 around Bali and showing you some of my favourite features on the camera. We're going to be starting off at this villa and waking up at sunrise in the morning and getting up to some really exciting things to show off its incredible features. Let's do this. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, good. You good? Do you want to say hi to the camera? Yeah. <laughs> good. Have a good evening. So the sun has just started to rise here at the villa. We're about to head out for the shoot, but I wanted to show you this view first. So this is the new camera, as you can see, it's super small. The camera is aimed at creatives who are looking for super high quality video, but at a super small form factor. Despite its size, the camera has everything you need. We have an internal three capsule directional mic, a hot shoe, a mic jack and a USB-C port, an SD card slot, HDMI port and a headphone jack. The battery is the same as the A7S III and the FX3, so the battery life is brilliant. And of course, for the vloggers, we have the flip screen. One of the best parts about this camera is it has the exact same sensor size as the A7S III and the FX3, which gives you cinema level quality at this tiny form factor. It has 422 10-bit color depth. We also have an unbelievable ISO range, which allows for really good low light capabilities. And we have 4K 60p and 120p at a later stage. It's a pretty powerful little beast. One of my personal favorite features of this camera, the ZV-E1, are the auto framing features and frame stabilization tools. Now we've come to this awesome tree with incredible light rays this morning, and we're gonna be shooting and showing you the differences between the frame stabilization tools and how handy they are for someone like myself who's a full-time travel vlogger and photographer and often on the road on my own. Let me show you. Okay, so I've got my buddy Mike here and I'm going to show you the differences between the different stabilization modes. We've got the normal stabilization, we've got active stabilization, and then there's a third one with the ZV-E1, which is dynamic active stabilization, which is unbelievable. Let me show you the difference. Not only is the spot unbelievably beautiful, but unfortunately the ground is super uneven, which is super hard when you don't have a gimbal. But with this camera and the dynamic active stabilization, you pretty much do have a gimbal, but within the camera, it is unbelievable. Okay, so for the auto framing mode, I've come to this amazing road with these like ceremonial decorations on the side. Uh, and I'm gonna put the tripod up here in the middle of the road and just pretend like I'm alone, like I would be on a travel shoot and wait for this bike to get past. And I'm gonna turn on the auto framing mode and just allow it to film me and it will change the frame as I move around the camera. Let's check it out.
Okay, so all I need to do is touch me as the subject. Now I can walk back and let the camera do the work. It's like having a little video assistant and it also really saves time in the editing because I don't have to edit this in. The camera does it. And the tracking is super quick. Check this out. And this ties into the next sequence, my next favorite feature, which is the eye autofocus. One of the most impressive features on this camera is the AI autofocus capabilities. So I've come to this market here in Bali to take some video of locals and some animals to show you how incredible the AI is. The camera lets you select a recognition target. So let's say I wanted people and faces and eyes to be in focus, I could select the person. If I wanted dogs or cats, I could select dogs and cats. I can select like planes, cars, trains, and I think butterflies it is unbelievable technology. Often the biggest problem with autofocus is it following distractions in the frame that you don't want it to focus on. But with its internal AI, the ZVE-1 predicts where your subject is, even if distractions come through the frame like this bike. This feature is super handy when vlogging because it just keeps track of your eyes and you don't have to worry about focus at any point. And to finish off, here are a couple of example shots I took of people around the market. Okay, that's a wrap on the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, we're back at the villa. The sun is setting and it's been an incredible day. This camera has been out of this world, way surpassed my expectations. It's gonna become my official travel camera from now on. As I said before, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.